Thank you so much for talking to us again. You're welcome. You've always been so nice to try Dallas. Um, I'm here with our uh, assistant Amy as well. It's our first time on an interview. So we picked you. You were our first last time too. Yes. First time we did an interview. So um, we're here tonight, I guess, on the day of your big uh, fight with Bobby Flay. We know you can't talk about that too much, but anything you yeah, want to say? Watch. I would just watch. You know, Bobby and I have been friends for a long, long time. I first met him uh, one evening at uh, Mesa Girl. Um, with a realtor, and I think it was in the 80s, you know, or maybe early 90s. So uh, I've watched his, you know, rise from just being like a, a redheaded kid from, I think he's from Brooklyn or something like that, yeah. or, or the Bronx. He's definitely not Southwood. He's not from Texas. No, no. That was the amazing part. You know, I, one time I worked at Arizona 206, uh -huh. which was a southwestern rest, a southwestern restaurant in New York City that was very, very popular, and uh, Brendan Walsh was the chef. He was in the CIA. He was, he's now a dean at the CIA. But this is going back to the to the mid '80s. It was it was the most popular southwestern restaurant in the country. He had, he had worked for Jeremiah Tower and then come back to New York, and, and this thing was a phenomenon. Yeah. And then Brendan went away, and Bobby Flay replaced him. I just found it so interesting that like two of the best, other than Rick Bayless, obviously, you know, and that's really authentic Mexican food. That the two of the best like southwestern chefs in America, other than Dean Ferry and Stephen Powell's, are Irish kids from Connecticut and upstate New York. You know, it, isn't that or crazy? Parts of New York. Mm -hmm. Well, it's funny. I was I was talking to Chef Powell's maybe about a month ago, and we were talking about he just came, but he had just come back from Cuba. Yeah. And so we were talking about Mexican, you know, Cuban cooking, Latin cooking, and I'm I'm Latin. Now my cooking is it's okay. So we're talking about the whole Latin thing and how he spent time with Bobby Flay and kind of exactly the same story of how, you know, here you have this redheaded guy who's a master at uh, Latin cuisine. But yeah. you're so but you're opening up a restaurant actually that's an Italian restaurant, right? My Italian restaurant is something I'm very excited about. It's called Gravy Fifty One. Um, it's across the street from the mansion on Turtle Creek, which is how I started here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. It's on the corner of Gillespie and uh, Turtle Creek in that Plains Capitol building. We're actually cutting the corner out, building it to, extending it to the curb. And there'll be a, a large patio with two fire pits and a bar looking out onto the mansion lawn, ironically. And inside a 125 seat Italian restaurant, focusing on mostly handmade pastas. Amazing. So um, where would you, I guess, put it at as, as far as the um, level of cuisine that it's gonna be? Are you looking for it to be a four-star restaurant, a five? Is it going to be more casual? What's it going to be? I have a different approach to that. You know, I've kind of like devalued the rating system in my own head. You know, not not because of my dislike of certain critics or of my of my opinion. It's just that at this point in my career, I think I'm good enough to judge what we're doing. After spoon, I proved it. A spoon, I proved it. A knife. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, achieve that again at uh, Gravy, in the sense that I'll know that what we're doing is qualitative. It's different, um, and I think in this case, somewhat affordable. Uh, we're not taking reservations, and you know they will be extremely approachable, casual, but well executed. So for me, it's more of a, a an overall picture of the opportunity first, then the design and the, the decor, uh, the the concept in itself of uh, authentic Italian food, and then execution. And once we've accomplished all that, I don't care about stars or, and hopefully we have a full dining room, and you know of course hopefully we're making money and actually.